Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Equation is 64 minus 729 x power 12 equal to 0. We have to find out all 12 solution of the equation. So let's get started. I will use algebraic method or algebraic identities method. So let's get started. I can begin with 64 we know using exponent. It is 2 power 6. Similarly, 729, we know it is 3 power 6. So, I will frame one identity actually using the exponent property. So, I can write 64 as 2 power 6 minus 3 power 6 x power 12 equal to 0. Now, I can again rewrite this equation 2 power 6 minus 3x square whole power 6. Now exponent property which we know that is a power b whole power c it is equal to a power b c. So 6 we can consider it is 2 times 3. So 2 power 6 I will write 2 power 3 and then power is 2. So let me write here I will write 2 power 3 whole power 2 minus 3x square whole cube and then whole square. Actually, I was framing the difference of 2 square formula. Now you can see easily, I will apply a square minus b square. So if this is a, this is b. So a square minus b square, it is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I will apply here. Let's see what will come out after applying the difference of the square formula. It will become 2 power 3 plus 3x is square whole cube. This is our b. So it will come as it is. And in second parenthesis, we can write 2 power 3 minus 3x is square whole cube. Right hand side is 0. Okay, now I can write a cube plus b cube, a cube minus b cube identity. So let me write both the identities first. As we know, a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b in second bracket, a square plus b square minus ab, change of sign. And a cube minus b cube is a minus b, a square plus b square plus ab. So here I will apply a cube plus b cube and in second bracket I will apply a cube minus b cube. Let's apply over there. So let me write once 2 cube plus 3x square whole cube in one bracket and in second bracket I can write 2 cube plus it was minus 3x square whole cube equal to 0. Now let us apply a cube plus b cube and a cube minus b cube also. So I will write a plus b done. Now a square here a is 2 b is 3x square. So a square 4 plus b square 3x square. So I will write 9x power 4 minus ab then I will write 6x square done. Now come to the second difference of cubes formula. So I will write a minus b so 2 minus 3x square and in bracket I will write 4 plus 9x power 4 and this time I will write plus 6x square equal to 0. Now let us arrange it first. So I will write 2 plus 3x square and in second bracket I will write 2 minus 3x square. Third bracket in the descending powers I will write 9x power 4 minus 6x square plus 4 and in fourth bracket only minus sign will become plus. So 9x power 4 plus 6x power 2 plus 4 equal to 0. 
so product of functions equal to 0 so i can write 2 plus 3x square is equal to 0 second equation i will write 2 minus 3x square is equal to 0 third bracket i will put equal to 0 that is 9x power 4 minus 6x square plus 4 equal to 0 and then I will write the fourth bracket 9x power 4 plus 6x square plus 4 equal to 0. Now there are 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can see 4 solutions we will get from equation number 3, 4 solution we will get from equation number 4, 2 solutions from equation 2 and 2 solutions from equation number 1. So overall it is 12 solutions. So let us find out 12 solutions. Let me consider the first two equations. So I will write 2 plus 3x square is equal to 0. So I can write 3x square is equal to negative 2, taking away 2 from both sides. Now x square I can write minus 2 over 3. And this minus we can consider i square 2 over 3. So I will be having two complex solution. x is equal to plus minus taking square root both sides. i times square root 2 over 3. Here we are having two complex solutions. Now our second bracket that was 2 minus 3x square equal to 0. Okay, I will take 3x square to the right or left, take 2 to the right, 3x square is equal to 2, divide by 3, x square is equal to 2 by 3. So, x will become, take square root both sides, plus minus square root 2 over 3. Real solutions, two real solutions. Now, I will consider equation number 3. Let me write 1, 2, now 3. Equation number 3 was, let me write here, 9x power 4 plus, it was minus actually, plus 6x square. Let me consider all together, 6x square, then plus 4 equal to 0. Only, let me write here, plus and minus both. So, this is our equation number 3 and 4 combined. Okay. Let us apply Sridharachar formula. So, this equation we will consider quadratic in x square. So, I will write what we are finding x square. So, I will write minus b. So, if it is plus, then I will write minus. If it is minus, minus 6, then I will write plus. Plus minus square root b square. Whether it is plus or minus, square will be positive. So, 36 minus 4ac. 4 times 9 times 4, 16 times 9. That means 144 divided by 2a. a is 9, so 18. Okay. Let us write here x square is equal to minus plus 6 plus minus square root. If you will take away 144 from 36, you will have minus 108 divided by 18 I am writing here. Okay, now minus plus 6 plus minus 108, I can write 36 times 3. So, I can consider a square root of minus 1 as i. So, it is about to come 6i root 3. This is done divided by 18. Now, if I will cancel 6 is common and we can cancel with the denominator. So, I can write minus plus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 3. This is our x square. Okay. Take square root both sides. So, I will write x is equal to plus minus a square root of minus plus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 3. And of course, this is complex solution. And here we are having total 8 solutions, if you will check. 
with plus there are 4, with this plus there are 4, with this minus there are 4. Inside you are having plus minus plus minus sign. So there are completely 12 solutions. Out of 12, 2 are real, that is plus minus square root 2 over 3. And the remaining 10 solutions are complex. See, second approach we can opt, that is using complex number. So I can write our, from this our equation, I can write x power 12 as 64 over 729. And then I can consider it is 1 over there. So x power 12 is equal to 2 over 3 whole power 6. And this 1 in complex number using Euler's identity and De Movies theorem, I can write e raised to the power i 2 pi. You can check the value. This value is 1 for principal solution. For general solution, I need to consider here bracket. And in bracket, I will write 2k pi. Take 1 over 12th power to both sides or 12th power to both sides. So x will become 2 over 3. This will come out 6 times 1, 1 over 12. That means root. Let me write root over there directly. And then this term will be e raised to the power i. If I will take common pi by 6, 2 and denominator will be cancelled out. In bracket, I can write k plus 1, where k belongs to integer. 0 to 11. So once I will put the value k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 11, we will get our 11 solutions using complex number. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.